Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Coffee with Carl. I'm your host, Carl Zellner. I'm here with my coffee again. And today's subject we're going to talk about is, is uh, title insurance. There are lots of questions in, uh, regarding title insurance, what it's for, how to use it, is it complicated to work with? Uh, and the answer is to all of those, maybe, kind of, and depends. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about first the purpose of of title insurance. One is, the, or not one, the purpose of title insurance is to ensure the, the title of the pro, or the chain of title of the property. So that if something occurs or an issue occurs with the chain of title, or say somebody raises their hand and says, no, 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 I, end that, I own that property, um, there's an insurance policy in place to then defend against that action or make the title or the, the insurance holder whole should there be some sort of claim or adjustment on the t- with the pro- with with the property that would cause a loss so usually with title insurance you both have the mortgage holder has a policy as well as the individual who's per- who purchased the property um, some of the more common issues you can run into tend to be uh, title insurance companies especially from the if you're looking at the real estate investor side uh, if you're looking at the real estate investor side, some of the items you can run into is, well, you purchased the property personally, but now you're trying to change your title insurance policy over to your land trust or an LLC. Um, the overall suggestion is like any sort of insurance, you're going to need to work with your insurance company to find the best solution for you. Um, but it can cause issues and it can it tends to pop up a little bit more in California. Uh, a lot of times you can resolve the issue by making the LLC or trust and named as an additional insured. Um, we've also seen where there's some riders that can be added um, or separate, um, the, the, the word is escaping me, but there's some additional um, policy additions you can add that would help in order to get you over that title insurance, insurance hurdle. Um, so wish it was a little bit, I mean, it's not overly complex. However, it can be a little frustrating especially if you're having to shop insurance companies. Uh, What I would say, though, is is just keep in mind, make sure you're asking the question, okay? So if you have a land trust, just be aware. Your land trust is in the same grouping as a living trust or the same family as a living trust. So it may benefit you to ask that title insurance company or your agent you're working with, hey, so if I was in a living trust, would you be able to insure the title, you know, you have a title insurance on this property. And if they say yes, that may provide you a route to a solution. Um, or if you're using an LLC, I would say, so you don't have, or if your LLC is a beneficiary of the land trust and that's causing issues, you could say, okay, so if the LLC is a beneficiary and you do you have a product where you would have title insurance for a business entity, should a business entity be purchasing a property? that may provide you a route to a solution as well. So it's like any other sort of organization when you're dealing with folks, um, they, you can't go in assuming they understand real estate investing or your overall asset protection strategy. So you need to load those questions in a way that's easy for them to understand. Um, if you're a client of Anderson, it's easy enough. If you don't know those, I mean, if you don't know those questions, it's easy enough. Uh, if you're not a cl- if you're a client of Anderson, you can always just run through the Platinum Portal, talk to one of our attorneys, and we're happy to sort of give you those guidelines. Um, on the second side, if you're not a client of Anderson, it may behoove you <laughs> to be one, so you can take advantage of our consulting services um, through our Platinum service, which is thirty five dollars a month. So we can help put you in the right position to help you be able to execute your overall plan. So. That's pretty much it for the short video on title insurance here. I mean, sort of a quick summary is if you're getting title insurance and you're having some hiccups or trouble insuring insuring your investment properties, work with your insurance agent to try to find a solution. Um, on the other side, you may have to shop insurance companies. And on still yet another side, you may have to frame the questions you're asking them differently because they may not understand what you're showing them. So that's uh, sort of the overall suggestions with title insurance. If you have additional questions, as always, if you're a client, please take advantage of our platinum program and you're able to ask or speak with an attorney or ask questions through our platinum portal. Um, I would also encourage you to continue to keep taking advantage of all of our free content that's out there. And, you know, if, if you've got some requests, you can always put them in the comment section and we'll take a look at those too. So 
Until next time, thank you everyone for joining me for this episode of Coffee with Carl. We will catch you on the next episode uh, and stay safe out there and have a good one.